I guess it's just woods. I don't know what a wield is. That Wulu, where do you think it got off to? Uh, probably along this path? The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. It'll blend in with the fog, it'll be okay. The Wulu will be, like, naturally protected by the fog. Oh, jeez! Oh, it's a little squirrel fella. What was that? Scrovit? Scovit. I guess, like, Covet? Squirrel? Sco um, whatever. We don't have balls, right? Potions? Nah, we don't got none. Just gotta fight it. It's... It's okay. It's your typical starting area rodent. It's fine. Those cheeks might be a bit big, but I guess that's probably its gimmick, right? It probably has, like, the cheek pouch ability and all that jazz. It's an okay design. I know that kid had a shirt in, like, one of the trailers with it on it. So that one wouldn't have been too surprising. Alright, and then you can sneak. It's not gonna be the Pokenav, though. Oh, well. I almost died from a squirrel! Doing all right there, let's be sure- oh, well, I guess that's fine. Don't push it. Anything cool over here? So this is like actual wild grass like the- oh, it's a little baby bird! This is a random encounter grass, it looks like. Compared to like how the wild area is supposed to be. I didn't- See if the wild area is the only area where there's overworld Pokemon. But I'm assuming that's gonna be the case, especially since you can't really see anything in this grass. Kinda don't care much about leveling up right now. Although seeing the Pokemon's good, I just wanna get to where I can start catching. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Why were you smiling? Alright, nothing else new. Another Scovit. I'm gonna beat you with a bunch of water guns. My baby boy Sobble's too cute. He's gonna just cry into your face with these water guns. I mean, I guess it did spit water in the cutscene before. But I think it would have been pretty snazzy if it just shot the water out of its uh, eyeballs. When can I pet my Sobble? I have no options to pet my Sobble. This music's kind of pumping up a little bit. Not like a real pump up, but it's like, oh, something mystical is going to happen. Come on, Rogue, that Wooloo might be in real trouble. It's like when you have to chase after that little girl that got kidnapped by the, uh, Hypno. Was that what happened? I actually don't fully remember what happened on the Sevy Islands in Fire Red and Leaf Green. This is mad! I can't even see my own hand in front of my face! I think I get now why this place is off-limits. We could just go backwards. Oh, hello, <laughs> legendary pupper. What in the? I like this. This is cool. Reeled. Oh, we're battling it. Oh, this is cool. It appeared. I don't remember these guys' names. It's like Zam or something. Also, it doesn't have its uh actual shield on. That's kind of. I like it a bit better without the. Actual look, I don't know why I went with Pound. I'm gonna say we- Oh, we can't even do damage to it. Its gaze is fixed on you. What? The move had no effect on it? That seems kind of dumb. you think we would have at least done some damage to it. Like, obviously we're not gonna beat the legendary Doggo, but... Okay, just missed it up some more. I can't see anything, you okay? Just more, more, uh, mist. 
Like, we could have done, like, some damage. There's, like, no way we would have won, but... Come on. Oh, it's gone. Or at the very least, they should have done the uh, attack mist because of this mist. Get you back to the whole uh, fog thing from Diamond and Pearl. That was fun. Everyone loved that. I can't believe it killed us. Just like that girl, we came back in a body bag. Well, it's a good thing I'm carrying around my own coffin. Hop, rogue! How'd you know we came in here? What, Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your... What? Your pants with directions. You always get lost. That's weird. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick, and also almost died in these woods. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course, I came looking for the both of you, but mainly you, my brother, because Mom would have had a fit. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. I saved it. I'm the hero. Oh, look, he did. Meh. The little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. But it looks took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. Did he? And at least that Wooloo's all right, yeah, Rogue? I thought we'd had to... Had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? Pokemon can't be mad. It seemed to load stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen, and it just had this sort of presence. Our uh, moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seemed to pass right through it. The moves pass right through it? So, the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering wield. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. Yeah, maybe we will. For now, let's simply get out of this place. It'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Yeah! Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This'll make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Hop, I'm so sorry. You you really should just stop now. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word, even worse than Lee just did. Whatever. What? Oh, there's two Badoos now. They're multiplying. Which game was it that you could just not go back to your mom and she would end up calling and being like, Oh, you, you could have texted it? It's fine. I think it was gold and silver. Wah. Well, now, isn't Sobble just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Yeah, whatever. Off to Wedgris, aren't you? I don't talk, mom. I couldn't tell you if I wanted to. Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center, maybe some potions or something. Remember that Sobble will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. Wow. And you, Sobble, look after my little rogue. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. I want to catch Pokemon. Let me catch Pokemon. I kind of like that you can just... Constantly run without holding the B button. That's helpful. You weren't here before, were you? The power of... Oh, you were here. Other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? Oh, I can whistle. I didn't mean to do that, but... That's a cool trick. That's a fake fence. Alright. What? What do you want? Here we go. This is quite a big step. You know, my first step toward becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train my score bunny a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in tall grass. You should get yourself to the uh, building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball. Uh, mark out in front. I hate how it's, the text scrolls up because it usually is just the like blocks of it. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. I'm used to just one block of text. Oh, I guess I have to go around. I'm used to the one block of text being there most times and the way that it... Um, Scrolls is confusing to me. You wouldn't want to wake up the sweet sleeping Wooloo, right? Better to take the long way around. 
I want to beat them up. Why are those ones allowed to live? Okay, so we got... These ones were visible. I can't really do anything. So I guess I should just fight. Oh, Caterpie. And what I mean by anything, I mean I can't really, like, catch anything. So no point, I guess, in trying to find stuff to fight. This Caterpie ain't gonna last long. Sobble, you're supposed to be strong. You should have killed it in one go. Watch, I have like an adamant nature. I, I, like I said, I don't care about the nature. This is the story mission. It's fine. Story mission. Story run through. It's not a big deal, but I'm curious now. Uh, tra Jolly. God damn it. Well, at least it's fast. We first met one. Jolly also is weird for Sobble, considering it's sad. My poor baby boy with the Jolly nature. Might as well save now. If only it auto saved. It just feels weird to me to have auto save in Pokemon. Got another potion. Anything else? Caterpies don't show up in the overworld. It's kind of weird to have some like overworld Pokemon and then some that just spawn in the grass. I think it's a good mix to have though. I, I think I would prefer it this way than the other way. Because then at least you uh, don't have to wait for overworld Pokemon to show up. Yeah, who cares about my defense? I'm gonna water gun ya. Pound would be a better option at this point. I think Water Gun's still the strongest move just because of Stab. We leveled up. Bind. Bind's okay. It's actually not, but it's fine enough. Let me get that item. I kind of went past it. Paralyze heals. What's up with this one? No, wait! Don't! That one was special. You encountered a wild Scarvet. Why was it special? It had like a shine to it. It wasn't like shiny, was it? We use Bite with its big chompers. It's at a higher level. Maybe that's all that shine was. It's just biting me more. And I don't have Pokeballs, right? No one... Oh, wait! I do have Pokeballs. Might as well, then. When did you get Pokeballs? Okay, I thought it was gonna get out. Why does Scarvet have some shine to it? Well, now I want to catch the uh, bird. Oh, I don't have the uh, Pokedex yet. What was that? I gained some W's? What did I run into? Oh! N no, I don't- I don't like you. This is a- This is a weird looking caterpillar. Why is its head so large? Oh, it's dead. Why is- Why is it like that? Right, the experience shares up. All right, bird, you're mine. Rookity. Unnerve. I think. Let me run away, because I think. Well, unnerve might be fine. I think its other ability is like pressure or something, and pressure would be a lot better. I don't know if Rookity. I didn't want to run into you either. I don't know if Rookity has the other ability, but I think I remember... Because like, that has to evolve in the Core of Night, right? Where... Mm, oh! Hello! I like you. Nick it. Oh, because like... The steel things? I like your foxtail. Um... I just try catching? I guess Bind will work. 
quick attack. I couldn't even see it move. This is a cute little fox thing. It's even Bind strong. Oh, it was a critical hit, so obviously Bind is strong. Can't escape, though. I'll catch you. Oh, actually, I don't even have to go into the bag. It has the uh, quick menu. Good. Might as well... I, I want to try to just catch a lot of the new Pokemon. So I, I was mentioning that I want to play the new games with only new Pokemon. What I usually, and again, I only did this with Sun and Moon, so usually isn't really the right word, but what I want to do with this is, um, I'll catch new Pokemon and then sometimes get older ones just to fill some weaknesses I have in my team, just in case if that's going to be a problem. That's a strong enough Wooloo. It's like in Sun and Moon, I, uh, started with Rowlet and I figured an electric type would be good for me, but early on, you can get, like, Magnemite, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll use that for a bit, and then I did until I decided not to. Until I had better options. Oh, Sobble, you're gonna die. Oh, wrong button. I'm... I never got used to Nintendo face buttons. I'm too hard pressed on PlayStation face buttons that I get a little weird with X and Y, and it confuses me. Like right, more level ups. Beat up. I wonder how good that would be early on. Beat up's a weird move. I don't. I don't think it would be. You have to have like everything strong attack wise. Uh, let's try catching that rickety, and then I'll go back to mum the heal. But with beat up, you have it um attacks with how many times based on nerve again. I'll try one more, and then I'll just stick with whatever one I get. Depending on how many party members you have determines how many hits beat up does, and then the strength of beat up each hit is like measured based on the attack stat of each Pokemon. Alright, we're just getting a nerve, so that's fine. We'll just stick with it. It's fine. Hopefully Sobble doesn't die. That bind doesn't do as much damage. Power trip. That's uh that's pretty cool for an early on move. I'm gonna just try to catch it now and see if it'll work. Can't imagine the catch rate would be too bad. The the only problem with Power Trip is if Rookity even has a um, stat raising move. Alright. Already filled our party. Maybe I'll put Rookity up right now. Uh, swap. There we go. Since Rookity didn't take too much damage. Alright, Nickit's cool, Rookity's cool. Probably not gonna use anything else, but we caught them. Don't have to go back to Mum because we can just run here. Charizard, what are you doing? Grr. It's the ultimate Charizard. You guys don't wanna talk? Nothing over here. There's the train. Got a little carried away with uh catching Pokemon. Is that the mar- oh, I can't even go in. Let me in! My Wooloo simply loves the Pokemon Center. Okay. Come along, Wooloo. They're perfectly healed. Time to go back home. Meow. It's dumb. Let me actually even look at my stats. I don't know what all of these Pokemon have as far as... ...abilities and moves. So, Power Trip, but you do not have... ...stat raising move. The more you just ta stat raises, the greater the move's power. If you get anything that raises a stat, though, I'll actually throw that on there. Nick, it's cool. What does it have? Run away. Eh. And then beat up is weird, so... Probably not gonna be great, but we have it. And then you have run away, so you don't have the fluffy one, which would be a better option for you, but it's fine. 
and then you are normal. What are you? yeah, cheek pouch. What I expect it really. Probably not gonna use Wulu or Scovit. I might stick with what I have right now though, for other options. Yo, can we change clothes already? I'm ready for that shopping montage. Did you know that each shop offers different lineups? Okay. I think the brand they carry here might be a bit too young looking for me. I want to change my look. To make myself look cool. Am I purchasing it right away? Or can I like change the look? How about... Let's look at hats right now. Actually bags. Uh, it's about the same. Still kind of large. Alright, hats. We can have this, like, newspaper child. That's what it is. Newspaper child. News kid cap. We can kind of change this. Mine is, like, gray. That white isn't too white. Part of me would love to make it look like my dumb OC that I made and totally didn't trace over for the thumbnails. I don't know how well it will work. It's great. Also, we have a lot of money. Maybe I should just go nuts with it. Change things up. Yeah, whatever. White's about the same. Canvas bag we'll keep. Loafers. No sneakers. So we'll keep that the same. Socks. Can't even... Oh, we have some high socks. Only the pants, though. We don't really have any options for, like, shorts. Uh, do we have, like, a gray hoodie? Gray hoodie's okay. Navy. Blue. Let's go with... Go with weird purple and orange. Let's go navy. And we'll switch this to... Well, is there any other options? Striped. Striped's kind of okay. Oh, there's an actual t-shirt. That's an Arcanine. Wait, can I remove... I already purchased... I want to remove it so I can see. Damn it. I want to see these casual tees. I see that Arcanine looking at me. Probably wouldn't want to wear it anyways. Let's uh, just go with orange. And get some dumb pants. No, I hate these trousers. All right, whatever. This is fine. Thank you. There's not like anything extra, is there? Stripe top red, stripe top blue. Oh, that's all right, that's the default. I know usually they have defaults on for not on. Uh, they have defaults as like additional options, like the skinny black, which is gross. So we'll just go with the designer denim, and then still just high socks, trainer socks. None of those are great. Same glasses. I always hate glasses in the game. Look at them. They look gross. There's never good glasses. Just gloves. I forgot to actually look at those. Gross. Those look silly. Maybe it would be better. I, I keep wanting to like go into that menu and then remove stuff, but... I'm confusing myself here. Look, it's fine. It's fine. The hoodie may be not the best. Maybe I'll just stick with that. Would you like to go with this look? Sure. I don't like how the hoodie just matches the pants. It's a little much. Here, I'm gonna help you with chopping. Look, she's very confused. Let me change my hoodie again. Let's go with like gray, maybe. Gray's a little boring. 
I don't think anything is great. Well, since I don't have a hoodie... Wait, I'm not done shopping. We can look at these casual tees. Shuckle. That Arcanine shirt's really silly looking. Alright, we'll just stick with this. We'll go to other shops and hopefully we can look cool. I know they had, like, leather jackets and trailers, so I want those. I want to look fly in a jacket. Alright, we have to go this way. Can I go in here? I want to steal people's things. That rather grand building besides... Alright, lab. But if the Professor Magnolia they're seeking will find her at home down the far end of Route 2. So, more routes? Or are we just going straight there? What you got for me, bro? Well done, you reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far... Oh, hey, Charizard. A far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. There was really only one way you could go, but okay. I guess he just went in circles on Route 1. See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. Grar. What a lovely looking lab with all these books. I like the stairs. I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Bawark. Oh, it's a Yamper. Look at that pupper go. I like it's diamond eyes. It's a real diamond dog. What is it today, Leon? Oh, I thought it was going to be an older woman. Looking for info on another never-before-seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. They're not Magnolia. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. I get it, that's your thing, you get lost. But yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonya. What can I say about Sonya? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. Tsk, what kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? You guys are like the same age? Thought she was much younger than you, but whatever. I guess you guys were rivals during your gym challenges. It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonya. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Rogue. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? Give me your Yamper. I want it. Alright, bye. Oh, it's like little fluff sparked up a bit when it was running. Oh, what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone, is it? Hey there, Rotom. Do we just... Does the Pokemon world just put Rotoms in everything now? Burst. Also, great. I'm glad they brought Rotom things back. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still got, gets lost, too. So, I'm not good at talking. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, so tell me. Do you know a lot about Pokemon? I know a bunch. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. They really... Because this is just going to be an app on the phone, right? It really should just be an automatic thing on the phone by now. Just so you know, the Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. So I guess we do have to go there to see Gran. Yamp, yamp. Good yamper. I like this little plant area. Uh, but they all seem to be flourishing. Little greenhouse, I guess, would be what a plant area is called. This is a lovely looking lab. Oh my god. On the gigantification of Pokemon, while the general principle holds that Pokemon grow stronger and larger by evolving, it is also true that simply making oneself appear larger is another survival strategy with merit. So is Gigamaxing like the thing where lizards flail up their necks? Or when I take my huge backpack and put it over my head so I look larger in comparison to an Ursa Ring? Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? 
I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Okay, thank you, mister. It's a potion, use it to heal Pokemon, blah, 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 whatever. I can use it during battle. Knowledge is power, it's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Alright, bye, mister. What a weirdo. Let's look at our Pokedex. Current recommendations. I guess these are just Pokemon I haven't caught on the route that I've been to already. Alright, what you got, Sobble? When it gets wet, its skin changes color, and this Pokemon becomes invisible as if it were camouflaged. Did not catch Blip Blop. Rookity. Jumping nimbly about, this small body Pokemon takes advantage of even the slightest opportunity to disorient larger opponents. It eats berries non stop, a habit that has made it more resilient than it looks. It'll show up on farms searching for yet more berries. Damn squirrels. I like Nicket. Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases its tracks with swipes of its tail as it makes it off with its plunder. But oh, that's cool. So it uses its tail like a broom, and that's why it's like on the ground like that. Nicket's cool. I like Nicket. Was that all of them? Oh no, there was Wooloo. I kind of just assumed I was done. Forgive me. Poor Wooloo. If its fleece grows too long, Wooloo won't be able to move. Cloth made with the wool of this Pokemon is surprisingly strong. Not when its abilities run away. I'm mad, Wooloo. Don't teach me how to use the Pokemon Center. I don't need to be taught. Got the Pokedex from Sonya. Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. Battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way, not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got a Pokemon Center, so oh my god, look at it! Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Rogue, bet you've never been inside one. I've been inside so many. Not these new ones, I guess, but still. Also, this town's like right next to ours. I'd imagine I showed up in these places before. Level with me, Rogue. Is this your first time in the Pokemon Center? Of course not. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. Please don't tell me what I already know. You two kids are Pokemon trainers. You might want to buy some potions before you head out. No. Cheers, I've already good though. I'm heading on route to Rogue. Come find me maybe when you're done here. I'll buy some Coco Balls though. You got anything to say? I'm so thankful. The fully healer Pokemon and it's free. Alright, uh, potion? Uh, not potions. No Pokeballs, damn. And then you just want to sell stuff, alright. I'll take your Pokemon, heal him up, make him healthy. My beautiful babies. Thanks for waiting, Rookity and the rest of your team are better. Is this active already? Can I do this thing? This is the Pokemon jobs, right? Greetings, trainer, what can I help you with? Dessert. Oh, this is just the PC. No, you know what? I'm pretty sure the, the weird poke job thing is supposed to be here. We'll worry about this later. True that wild Pokemon can be scary, but once they become your allies, there's nothing more reliable. Look at this little weirdo. Fufu. Got some Pokemon questions? Feel free to ask. Rate, nickname, remember moves, forget a move. Right, so this is just free to do, right? I can have your Pokemon remember any moves they should have had chance to learn up until where they are now. I guess, I think it's more convenient that this is free. Do you have anything that you didn't know before? Okay. Because sometimes there's like moves that they don't actually have that they could have. I just want to make sure that there's nothing like I'm missing out. I guess this will definitely be a lot better once we get Pokemon at higher levels. Alright, off we go. Listen, Rogue, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? Uh, what's that? I can't really just say yeah. The gym challenge, mate. <laughs> you what, mate? The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You've got to take part too, bro. Proper rival is just a thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps motivated, right? 
The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams a chance to train up a little bit along the way. I want to get more balls. I also need to sneak into this person's house and steal things. Hello? Sonya and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but... But what? Continue your talk, mister. Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would always go all out, even on... Uh, the, the practice matches. That's it. I lost track of where I was in the uh, conversation. Hello, mister. Do oh, do do. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. Do do do. Basics for Pokemon trainer. Lesson one. Pokemon at the top. Okay. I, I got you, kid. No, I don't. Child. I'm trying to talk to other child. Probably not gonna. God. Other child, please. Uh, lesson 2, don't forget to recruit the progress often. Pokemon uses a move that matches its type. The move power increases. Alright, hello, who are you? You got fancy hair. You see that house in the distance? You can go to that house. With the purple roof, that's where the Pokemon professor lives. That's cool seeing it in the distance like that. I like that. It's like a uh, Naughty Dog game where you see where you have to go in the distance. 